Well, hello, this is Rochelle, and welcome to my channel. Yes, there's a groggy voice. <laughs> I spent the last three days in hospital uh, with meningitis, nonetheless. And uh, yeah, what a fun time. And so when I came back to do this voiceover this morning, I am so thankful for the word in Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, where it says that God will never leave you and never forsake you. I got permission from Kerry Beth, who is Grace Remembered at Instagram, um, to use this artwork and um, even her, I tried copying her writing. She's just so talented and I do want to encourage you to go check her out on Instagram. Um, she has a lot of talent uh, and she has an Etsy store as well where she sells her, some of her artworks. Um, what a sweet lady and I'm so thankful that she shares inspiration because there are many of her other things that I've tried in watercolor as well. And so I'm thankful for people like that who um, use their talent to inspire others. Um, I love the song by Hillsong. It's called Desert Song and it was written by Brooke Fraser who I had the privilege to see um, perform it live in... Uh, well, a long time ago, let's just say that, <laughs> in Australia at the women's conference when I visited there. And so the song really is a song of, of truth and it speaks of God in the seasons. I'm also working through the rescued study by Sarah Kuntz and uh, what an apt time for everything. I didn't follow the full study with them when they did it. Um, and so as I'm doing it now, I'm just realizing the true words of this uh, passage in the Bible and also the song, how true it is that in every season, all of my life, God is with me. He doesn't forsake me. He walks the road with me and everything happens for a reason. You know, so often we want to ask a lot of questions and figure out why things happen and and. Um, is it fair and is it right? <laughs> but I'm so encouraged that in it all, God has a purpose. I was reading the story of Joseph last night and the many, many, many years of injustices that happened um, in his life that could have so easily turned him, I want to say, against God, but instead it just drew him in closer to the father's love and and to restoration and the plan and the purpose for his life for the art on this page um like i said i i didn't um trace her image but i copied it and my proportions are off but um i enjoyed doing this loose sketchy type um drawing very very much it was my first um, my husband wants to know what the foot is doing and so I'm trying to show him, you know, standing up and tilting my foot so that it looks like that and then I saw, yeah, you know, my proportions are way, way out. But I'm just loosely sketching with my fabric style pet artist pen in an S nib um, and I want them to be sketchy lines so I didn't, they're not exact and solid, they're kind of like sketchy. <laughs> so that it could be the outlines for this uh, watercolor piece and then I also did some leaves that I wanted to look well I'm guessing that were intended to look like they were being blown on an autumn day and since it is autumn in South Africa this was very apt for me I'm using Koi Sakura paints alongside with my um, Fabric Style uh, Gold Faber Aqua Pencils just to give it some intense color and um, bring out all of the nice things that this page um, and the colors and the imagery um, has to, to bring. Um, I like when using the Fabric Style Gold Faber Aqua pencils um, over or with the watercolor just because it brings an extra pigment and intensity to um, the color that I'm using. Um, I also outlined the leaves for them and it gives them some dimension, it gives them some looks more, I want to say, realistic, although there's nothing realistic about 
um, the proportions on this page. We'll just leave it there. <laughs> um, and you see there as I add the, the water to the actual hair where I drew it with the Fabric Style Gold Faber Aqua Pencils, it's just intense and beautifully rich. So I'm outlining the leaves as well and I'm drawing, drawing some, um, hoping that it looks like wasps of air that uh, just blows these leaves past this lady with her coffee. And then I realized that I really wanted to do the words of the song um, as per uh, Carrie Beth's original artwork. Um, on, on this page as well so I decided to do a double spread and kind of changed my mind and had the leaves do a little bit of a dip over onto the next page um, only after I've intensified all of the color and so the verse in this um, passage that I'm doing says that we should never be afraid um, and we should not give up and, and grow fearful because um, God will never leave us and he will never forsake us. So even if the season in your life is one of war, where you're seeing the battle on every side, I want to encourage you to stay strong because God is with you. And if the season is harvest and things are going right and you're seeing the... Um, the providence of God and his provision for you and how faithful he is to you that you will praise him because he will never leave you and never forsake you he's with you in every season of your life and even when you're emptied out and you feel like you have nothing significant to give I want to encourage you to stay focused and to understand that you're emptied out so that you can be filled again, um, as the song says. And uh, the, the words just really, it encourages me so. Um, the piece that I'm writing, um, as with Carrie Beth's artwork, says all of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. Go into your battle today. Go into your season today with praise and with worship and with song on your breath. Giving God all the glory because he says he will never forsake you and he will never leave you. And even when you feel alone, it is merely preparation for that time to shine. To be emptied of all he has filled you with. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I want to encourage you head on over to Kerry's uh, page at Grace Remembered on um, Instagram. Uh, give her give her a few few likes there and uh, support her page in that. Giving credit to the artist of the song as well, Brooke Fraser from Hillsong, and. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to this page and um, I will see you again soon. Bye bye.